everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art and today's video is a um, design team challenge for Gina Bronzini Aarons and it is the month of November. The challenge is embossing. So I thought I would use the stamps um, and I like to mix them up. They inspire me that way and I am also going to be using bits of my leftover um, art papers. So recently I did a sort of all my random little pieces of paper and I, by color, I put them in these plastic bags and so I thought I would use them. And that's all I'm going to say right now. So I will be back in a minute and show you exactly what my idea is. All right, so here's the stamps that I chose. Uh, I have some Versamark, here's some... Um, scrap painty papers uh, that I have and I'm going to use this um, Melt Art Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. Alright, so I'm using a um, plastic CD case to hold my rubber stamp and these have that, um, oh what do you call that stuff back here? Um, Gosh, the word went right out of my head. Okay, so <laughs> that's what it has back here. It's that self-stick thing. And so generally then you peel this paper off and then it sticks to, you know, your uh, stamping block. But I don't have a stamping block that big. So I'm just going to use the CD case. It works just great. And I'm going to apply the Versamark to the stamp. And, and you want to make sure that you you get a lot on there. You want it nice and juicy. Okay, so now it's on there. I'm going to flip it over and I can see through the CD case and I just kind of hold my hand down there for a second. Well, more than a second, a couple seconds. lift and sprinkle and I'm going to sprinkle right here I've got a craft mat underneath this paper um, I can't really see the outline but I know that it's generally right here so I'm just going to sprinkle that shake it around a little And I have this um, awesome Scoopy thing. Yeah, there, see, there we go. Um, which I'll show you in a second. And it works really good um, to pick this stuff up. And yes, you can do this over a cup too, that would, or a bowl. That would work as well. All right, so I'm just gonna clean that off. I have a little um, paintbrush here that is clean, believe it or not, even though it's green, it's stained, and I'm just going to get rid of the excess. Okay, and then I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, which I'm not going to do on camera, so I'm just going to set that aside, and I wanted to show you this little scoop thing that I have. That's awesome! It's, um, it was used for beads. We sold them in the bead store, so it's just a little, see that? It's like a little rounded Thing. So watch this, check this out. And it comes to a point, so you just, and right in the um, cup it goes. I'm gonna heat gun this and I'll be right back. All right, here's my um, little pieces of embossedness. And I just love when you emboss. It just, I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just goodness all over. It's shiny and it's, it's, you know what it reminds me of? It's like writing with a fine liner, a paint liner, a paint fine liner. I just love it. Okay, so after you emboss, you have to make sure when you heat it, you give it enough time to dry. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these shapes out. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of a border around them, very little. Oh, maybe an eighth, sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to cut all these out and then we're going to come back 
and put them together. So I won't bore you with the cutout. All right, my pieces are cut out and I have created my very own quirky character out of Gina's stamps. And I just chose, you know, some pieces that reminded me of arms and legs and there's a body and the head and whatever. And um, I decided, uh, I'm not a big art journaler, but I do have a few art journals. And this is, this is one of them. And I decided to put it down in this uh, art journal book. And some of the pages, I've done like wipe offs and whatnot in here, so some of the pages have paint. So I thought I would use this page, but I'm also going to, I decided to use some uh, dictionary paper. And this is vintage dictionary paper. And you know me, I love vintage. And so I am going to tear this. And then I'm going to put my character on top of here. I don't like this extra, <laughs> I don't like this border. It distracts me. So that's why I want to tear it off. But I have a nice neutral background on this paper. And, uh, you know, this way I won't take anything away from, yeah, I like that, anything away from my quirky character. So I am going to glue this down. I think I'm just going to use a glue stick. And then I'm going to glue her on here. And um, you know what? I think I might put a light washing of gesso on this after I glue it down. So I'll be back in a second to show you. So I just wanted to come back and show you that I painted a little bit of gesso. And then I took a baby wipe and just wiped back a little bit. And now I'm going to... I'll lay my girl out, my quirky girl, and I'm going to glue her down. And I'm going to use, I believe, a uh, matte medium. I'm not going to just use a glue stick because I really want to make sure this stays down. So I'm going to glue her down and I'll be back in a minute. All right, she's coming along. So I've glued her down. I used a heavy, um, this is what I used, uh, an extra heavy gel. Um, because the papers are all different. So some of them are cardstock and some of them are just regular papers because remember they came out of my scrap bin. Um, I also picked out um, a couple of my Inktense pencils and I just felt like I wanted to um, shade in her hair a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm just going to play with the rest of the page. So. Um, I also glued down the word imagine um, because I really, what I'm hoping is you guys will be creative with your supplies and think outside the box. And yes, you can do this without embossing, um, most certainly. But I really like the embossed um, look. And it's hard to see on camera, but um, I think I'm going to get some other ink tense pencils and fool around with the hair a little bit more. Um, it just, it gives it a texture to the embossing. It, it gives it a raised texture, which I like. So I'm going to play with this page a little bit. I'm going to get some more ink tents. I have this pencil that it's a, a Kimberly pencil, um, General Pencil Company. It's a 9XX and I am going to scribble a little bit with this pencil and I'm um, just going to play with this a little bit and I'm also going to just do something around the edges and whatever. I'm just going to play and then I'm going to come back and show you. All right, I'm back and I'm finished and this was fun. I don't normally, um, you know, do a page in my art journal, but it was fun. So uh, I want to encourage you to make your own quirky person, whether it be a girl or a boy or just a weird object. And you don't have to do the embossing, but I really do like that. And so my girl says, who are you when no one is looking? And imagine. And that's one of Gina's stamps as well. And these are all Gina's stamps, and you can find them in her Etsy shop. And uh, you can, if you don't have um, embossing powder and whatnot, you can just, you know, stamp and do the same project. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.